Hello, my name is Carl Laidler with Dynamic Dimension Technologies. Today I'll be presenting our research with Surf Zone Simulation for Autonomous Amphibious Vehicles, sponsored by the Office of Naval Research. Prior to founding DDT in 2015, I was a PI on several SBIR Phase 1 and Phase 2 awards with successful transition to commercial products. I founded DDT to focus on autonomy systems, testing, and integration. To do this, we focus on research and development within the high-definition virtual environments and virtual twin technologies for autonomy employment. Since founding DDT, we have won seven SBIR and STTR awards. We have developed a white paper on physics-based transfer learning, which we submitted to a NASA Entrepreneurs Challenge and were selected among the top 15 to present to a panel of NASA program managers. We have over 30 years experience in the modeling and simulation field and over 15 years with autonomy systems. We have long believed that physics-based simulation and testing can really close the reality gap between simulation and reality utilizing a model test model paradigm where the simulation tests are conducted in a virtual environment that represents the physical test environment and we do head-to-head -head testing in comparison. Our key resources uh, have 10 plus subject matter experts, engineers, software developers, and data scientists. We have a modeling and simulation lab and a robotics systems lab. We have prime, we're a prime on Seaport Next Gen and several OTA contracts. We're located in Westminster, Maryland, just outside of the DC Baltimore area. Amphibious operations for the Navy and the Marine Corps are very complex. These can be in harsh environments and very hazardous, even in training exercises. The Navy is investigating autonomy systems options and novel amphibious vehicle designs. They need a realistic surf zone simulation capability in order to support the development of these new designs and concepts and the trade-offs with those. Current simulation and game engine technologies just simply lack the realism to successfully support the design, development, and testing of these novel systems. We need realistic vehicle responses to wave, surf, bathymetry, and terrain interactions. Current simulation technologies represent the water surfaces as a single elevation point. This does not allow the representation of the curl of the breaking waves, nor any of the associated physics. We have developed a novel technology that fully represents the wave curl and all the associated physics for computing synchronized platform responses to motions. This dramatically closes the simulation to reality gap. With this technology in our virtual simulation environment, we enable designers and developers of autonomy systems to virtually test their de new designs and concepts earlier in their development cycle. Additionally, this advanced technology enables test planners to thoroughly plan their test events and define data collection requirements prior to heading out to the field. This will help reduce testing costs and improve safety. So how does this work? General autonomy systems are built on a framework of observe, orient, decide, and act. They receive sensory data from the physical world. They process this data and come up with optimal ways to achieve the missions they've been provided. 
Our virtual simulation environment provides a digital twin, physics-based models, and simulations that interact with the real system interfaces such that the systems under test do not know if it's in the real world, virtual, or mixed world reality. This capability allows developers to test new design concepts and autonomy algorithms before cutting steel or going through expensive field testing processes. Our novel framework technology scales to allow testing of many autonomous systems with interactions, including with manned and unmanned systems. This allows scenarios of coordinated missions and maneuvers and swarming technologies to be assessed along with their concepts of operations, including in adversarial scenarios. Closing the sim to reality gap provides us the unique opportunity to better support the acquisition community. Utilizing our tools will help increase system performance testing coverage for formal acquisition milestones A and B. Currently, we are working with the Universities of Minnesota and Iowa and NSWC Carterock for simulation and validation testing. Iowa has built an instrumented scale size amphibious platform and will be testing it in their wave basin. They have provided us with the specifications of both the platform and their wave basin. We have built models for the wave basin and the platform to support this validation process. We have deployed our simulation software to NIWIC Pacific and are working with them to support their autonomous systems integration efforts. They have provided us with data from their Camp Pendleton test facilities. We are using this data to support our simulation and model verification processes. What sets us apart from all the others? Well, we use physics-based models and simulations, as opposed to physical simulation techniques employed in many of the popular game engines. This allows us to produce deterministic simulations for repeatability and highly accurate realistic results. Our novel time control module allows us to not only synchronize our distributed simulations, but also supports use cases for faster or slower than real time simulations. Our distributed processing and cloud deployment capability is highly scalable. Our ability to run headless during batch or Monte Carlo simulation exercises can support hundreds of thousands to millions of hours of unattended testing. This significantly reduces testing costs and improves test coverage. We are looking for transition partners that are involved with autonomy systems development and testing and would like to improve their autonomy integration processes, or perhaps they're developing systems for extreme or hazardous environments, we can work with them to provide a supplemental testing capability. We would like to work with organizations aimed towards advancing man and unmanned teaming missions. Our simulation surf zone environment is also ideal for assessing littoral operations, and the supporting design and analysis of watercraft launch and recovery systems. We are open for partnership opportunities. For example, we have a public-private partnership with a municipality where we are investigating the integration and employment of autonomy systems for public transportation. There are many shuttle systems and autonomy kits available and it becomes a systems engineering challenge to figure out the best path forward. With our scanning equipment, we are building a high-definition virtual environment of the autonomy corridor. This will support systems assessment and infrastructure change requirements prior to systems acquisition. We envision this virtual environment to become the foundation of a smart city digital twin infrastructure.
We are also interested in opportunities to leverage our physics-based simulation to advance AI transfer learning technologies such as physics-inferred knowledge transfer or continuous learning applications. Finally, we are interested in how our simulation test environment can support state transportation agencies with their autonomous vehicle certification initiatives. Thank you for watching my presentation. If you have any questions, like additional information, or just chat, please visit my virtual booth. If you miss me there, feel free to reach out to me via my cell or email. I look forward to meeting you. Thank you.